And is this recording? Oh my god, it is, thank god. <laughs> My name is Jen and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I said I'd do an old throwback and do a get ready with me video. If you followed me from when I started my channel ages ago, I used to always do get ready with me videos and like stuff like that. So I said, you know what? Let's throw it back for a second and let's get ready. I'm going to like a dinner party later. So I want, I need to do my hair. I need to do my makeup. I need to figure out what I'm wearing. I have an idea, but whether I look nice now or not is another question. I said we'd start with some makeup. Um, I'm not sure what makeup look I'm going to go through, but I'm going to bring you along with me. Okay, let's sort this out. Literally, why is this room always a mess? I'm gonna move you because my mirror is here. Let's move you over here so you have more of a a better view. I do have you on my baby tripod. I am. Um, I should probably have you on my big tripod, but I'm. You know what? I'm too lazy to set up. So first thing we're gonna start with obviously is my primer. So this is Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Hydrating Primer. I always use this. It's literally my favorite thing. I think this could be a really nice kind of chatty kind of get ready with me and we can just have a conversation get to know each other you know we got this so news let me think do i have any bit of news oh yes yeah, so if you saw last week's video i got a job i got a freaking adult job and if you're like jen what the hell is an adult job that's just what i call it basically so i got like a full-time job in a company in a grad program gonna be working nine to five whatever like in an office type of job so that's my definition of a, a big girl job or like an adult job okay i'm just using my collection brow pomade i've had this for so long i probably need a new one i'm starting that on the 20th of july very excited that's only like monday week so it's getting very close i know there's a couple of people starting with me from my course which is great that means i'll know people but i don't know how i feel about starting from home obviously with the current situation we're not going to be starting in the office like it normally would i think actually meeting the other grads will be a bit harder and i presume it'll be over zoom but with that being said that means I can literally go to work in my pyjamas. I'm happy. I think it's a good way to kind of ease into it. I know so when I start, I'm going to be in training. And I think it's, I don't know, it's a 12 or 14 weeks training. But either way, it's quite long. I actually got my brows done. Look at them. Fresh. But yeah, so it's quite long training. And I've heard it's meant to be like awful. As in, well, no, not awful, but like tiring. I think I'm going to do my skin now because i'm not going to do anything major with my eyes i might just put a bit of glitter or something i don't want to go overboard i haven't practiced makeup in so long so it's literally if i tried to do something drastic with my eyes it would not end well and um, i'm just going in with lasting perfection collection concealer this is actually one of their old packaging probably a sign i need to get a new one but yeah so that's i suppose everything to do with the job what else going on in my life i'm currently doing the Chloe Ting two week shred challenge. So I'm on day five today, which was rest day. And that means I obviously didn't have to do anything, but I think it's going well so far. The only thing I would say is that it's the same videos each day. Like one day you have to do two out of the four videos. Another day you might have to do three, but it's the same like four videos that you do. Now, I know some people mightn't actually like that and like a variety, but so far I've been finding it okay. Like I'm on day five and I'm gonna be posting a complete review on that on my channel as well. It probably won't be next week's video. It'll probably be the week after by the time I'm done because I started on Monday, so I'm not actually finished until the 19th, I think is my last day of the day before I start work. It won't be done then till the sunday after so that's when it'll be uploaded so keep an eye out on that but other than that i'm quite enjoying it i'm glad i'm kind of getting back into kind of a exercise routine and i'm trying to eat healthy and i'm eating my protein as well so all will be revealed in the video next we're gonna do some contour so i'm not a big fan of foundation I think I've said this before, but I'm actually just going in with the Hoola Contour Stick. If you follow me on Instagram, I would have showed you I got this a couple of days ago from my friend. Definitely follow me over there. I'll link it down below. 
but as I was saying I'm not a big fan of foundation because I don't know I feel like sometimes it's very thick on my skin now the foundation I do use when I do put foundation on is the I think it's the bourgeois uh wait let me get this it's the it's this one it's the bourgeois healthy mix serum gel foundation very good I really like this and it's the perfect color for me but you know what sometimes I'm just not feeling it and that's okay too so I go concealer and then I go straight in with contour because I just can't deal with the foundation and as well it makes my skin break out so much it's not too bad see pretty natural moving on let's get a bit of blush so i'm actually been loving blush recently enough and i got this again it was on my instagram i got this fenty beauty cheeks out freestyle cream blush in the shade pell poppin I've actually just been kind of putting it on with my finger because I don't know what brush to use and anytime I use a brush it doesn't get pigmented but like oh look at that color it's subtle but it's there and that's what I like Jordan Liscom did a video about all Fenty like a full face of Fenty Beauty and I saw her use those um blushers and you know what I fell in love I just think they went on so nice and then I was doing Kaylee MUA's first training course and she said that she was in love with the nude sticks blusher and I want to try that as well but that was like 36 euros and I was like mm, maybe not the first time I tried cream blush because I could hate it just does the job now let's wipe that off um and then for bronzer i'm using kiko this is the ocean field bronzer in the color warm honey look how good that bronzer is oh i love it as you if you've probably watched my videos before i've been constantly complaining about my camera and the fact that it's not focusing it's just you know what it's just not doing the job that i wanted to do so i've been looking into new cameras i've been looking at so originally i wanted to get the g7x mark 3 for vlogging and stuff and then still use this camera as well for like sit down videos and all that jazz and then i was thinking wait why don't i get a good camera that i can use for sit down videos so like the one I was looking at then was the Canon M50 and then also get the G7X and then also use this so because I still want to be able to use this camera because like I paid a lot of money for it so I would like to still be able to use it so they're the two I was looking at for ages but Sony came out with a vlogging camera I think it's the Sony ZV-1 and someone tested it on YouTube I her name is I Justine she tests a lot of tech and stuff she tested it on YouTube and you know what it looked freaking class I was like here come on now leave me have it i want this and like the audio focus was insane so yeah so i do want to invest in a new camera i think once i get my job now my first big purchase is going to be a car because i'm currently waiting to do my driving test then i think i might buy a camera after that also i think in one of my recent vlogs i told you i bought my ipad and it hasn't come yet and you know what i'm annoyed i look so pink in this viewfinder so it hasn't come yet but it said it's not meant to come until about the 15th to the 22nd that's not too bad it's not too bad it'll come eventually okay i think i'm going to put off the camera for now and do my eyes and i'll come back to you okay makeup is done not too shabby lips aren't done obviously because let's go i think i need to do my hair next and i also need to pick up my foot so let's go to my room okay i have an outfit here that i might put on but i think i'm gonna do my hair first and get that out of the way let's do my hair three two one so yes now i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear so i got this skirt now i don't have tan on so i'm actually going to look pale as hell so then i also have this top just a little white little can't even see that white little shirt thing but i have a feeling when i put this on i'm gonna look like a little school girl let's put this on see how it is i might try the top with black jeans it might be better i don't know let's let's do some magic here one two three Boom. okay so this is the first look i'm not too sure is this too like am i a child does this look like a child so i could either wear this or this or this so this is jeans there's my black jeans with the top i don't know whether to wear this see i don't know I'm, I'm gonna ask my fam. I'm so torn. I like the top and the skirt, but as I was saying, I think I look like a child, whereas I think with the jeans, it looks nice. Now then, I could also wear my Air Forces 
or I could wear my sandals. I haven't tried it with my sandals yet. Or I could wear my boots. I think I might wear the jeans. I'm gonna put on the jeans there. Okay, it's a moment later. We've had a whole discussion. Here's the final result. So we have the top, but, okay. This took so much, like, not even negotiations, but, oh my God, I'm stressed. So this is the final look. We have this cute little top, this dress that I got in Bershka and it has cute little stars in it. And then these shoes with a little platform to give me a bit of height because I'm quite small. Can we just take a moment to look at the remainder of the room? Wait. All of that. It's a state. I think that's me ready. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this bag, my River Island bag to go with everything. And I'm also gonna do my denim jacket with the fur because I have no other jackets to wear being realistic. This one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this throwback. Get ready with me because you know what? This was actually really fun. I really enjoyed this. Now I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna get it up on Sunday. So when you're seeing this, it'll be Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna see more of me because I'm gonna continue to make videos and live my best life. If you wanna come along the ride, go for it. And I'll see you next week. Bye.